Hey Saber fans, Calvary Custom Sabers is here. I've got a lightsaber I finished up and I'm putting up for sale pretty shortly. I apologize for the mess, I am in kind of a hurry this evening. However, this lightsaber is a Corbanth LS6 and I just uh, converted a couple weeks ago. Uh, the one I just lifted up for sale, the electronics are exactly the same. In the pommel here, we have the Petit Crouton version 2.0. Uh, remove the pommel, easy SD card access to change out the fonts, settings, whatever you like. Right here we have the 1.3 millimeter charge port. So you can see right there it comes with this kill key. So you just plug it in and it charges right up. And you can see it's very low profile, can barely see it. Clamp box is the touch plate activation. So the top is your power, the bottom is your auxiliary. For the speaker, you've got these vents right here. The speaker is right behind those vents, so it's very easy to hear. And then in the rib section, moving on up the hilt, we've got two um, 750 milliamp AW lithium ion cells. So I'm um, running this at 1,000 milliamps. You're going to get mm, about 45 minutes of runtime there. And the, for the LED, we have a R, R, uh, yeah, RGGB LED engine, 10 watt LED. The two greens are wired in series for um, the green main blade and then the red is wired up for the flash on clash so it gives a really nice amber. So let's go ahead and get this turned on so you can see what it looks like with the green LEDs and also here of the volume. Uh, main power. So there's the speaker right there. About a medium in volume. It's got a two watt rectangular speaker. And for the green LEDs, you can see that is the color right there. Keep in mind, the Sabre is under two floodlights. Um, whenever you put a blade in it, it is a very, very nice and bright, even for a three quarter inch blade. I'm going to go ahead and get the amber flash on clash for you. So, very, very, the amber flash on clash probably is my favorite. It looks really nice. And I'll also get some clashes to show you just the sensitivity. So there you go. So there you go, all in all, very, very nice hilt. It came out really nice, just like the last one. For dueling wise, I'd say you're good for light spins, uh, but anything um, more than that and very, very light choreography, I wouldn't recommend it just because the blade. Um, goes down to about here where the main tube meets the blade holder so if you start hitting that around you're going to get a lot of wobble um, in the blade holder and uh, that wouldn't be good. So light dueling choreography it looks like a very nice display piece it's very nicely sized so if you want a LS6 hilt this is the one you want to pick up. Thanks for watching guys.